Hola estudiantes, ¿cómo están? I'm Meeda and today we are going to be looking at a very important and an interesting topic which is how to do small talk in Spanish language. And when I say small talk, it means how to greet someone in Spanish, right? And how to bid farewell to them. Very important phrases and even fun to learn. Right? Before we look at the vocabulary, Let's, let's just understand why are we looking at these today. Okay, there are three main important points that we can think of when we think of learning this vocabulary. One being cultural significance. What do I mean by cultural significance here? Uh, learning this vocabulary, these phrases, is going to play a vital role in any foreign language speaking countries. Because what it reflects, it reflects a politeness and respect on your part. It reflects that you're being courteous when you use these phrases, when you meet someone. Then when we talk about connection building, this uh, learning this goes just beyond formalities. What you're trying to do when you are being courteous is you're trying to establish a communication or build a relationship. Even if it's only for a few minutes, even if it's, even if it's just for a formal conversation, you're still trying to appear courteous and you're trying to build that relationship with that person. And the third and the easiest one to understand is when you observe and understand the nuances of these phrases, the greetings and farewells that you're going to learn, it is going to be helpful for effective communication in any Spanish-speaking communities. As you know, Spanish is spoken not just in Europe, in Spain, it's also spoken in Latin American countries. So imagine that you are learning in a university in Spain or you're in Latin America on a trip and Using these phrases, let it be greeting or farewell, is, is going to be very helpful for you, right? Because it is going to reflect that you're trying to learn the language. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the vocabulary. All right, now what you're seeing in front of you is los saludos. Los saludos, which means the greetings. Let's start with the easiest one and I'm pretty sure all of us know this, right? Hola. What does hola mean? Hola is simple hi or hello. It is a universal word. You can use it in a formal situation, in an informal situation, in any Spanish language speaking country. The only thing that you need to remember is H is always silent. Okay? It's not hola. It's hola. Hola. All right? Let's move on to the second one. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. This means good morning. Very good. Buenos dias. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. This means good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. This means good night. Okay, let's quickly look at the pronunciation of all the pronunciations of all these phrases. Hola. Buenos días. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Very good. Now that we have greeted someone, our next question usually in the small talk is, how are you? What's up? How's it going? We are going to look at two different sets of phrases. One is the informal one. One is the formal. Before we move on to the vocabulary, let's understand where do I use an informal phrase and where do I use a formal phrase. As self-explanatory, informal phrases would be used when you're talking to your friends, someone who is your age or someone who is younger. Okay? Your friends, someone who is younger to you. Or someone who is your age. These are the only age groups with whom you'd use the informal phrases. Let's look at the first one. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? It means, what's up? What's up? The next one, I'm pretty sure you've heard of this one. Guys. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? This means, how are you? All right. Now, where do I use a formal phrase? You're going to be using formal phrases with people who are elder, obviously. Then people who hold a title, for example, the principal of your school, the teachers of your school, and 
elder people, people you're meeting for the first time, right? Or people you have not really met much in your life. These age groups, people who hold title, elder to you, you're going to be sticking to formal phrases. How do I say, how are you? Formally. We are going to say, como esta usted? Three words. Como esta usted? Okay. Now let's look at some of the sample responses. If someone asks you, como estas? Que tal? Or como esta usted? How do I give a response to it? You can say, bien. If you want to say, I'm doing well. Good. Just fine. You can say, bien. You want to say, I'm doing okay, okay. Nothing new. You can say, regular. Okay. Pretty much the word that we have in English, but the pronunciation is a little different. Regular, which means okay, okay. Usual, the usual. You can even say mal. Mal is bad. Doing bad. All right, let's quickly look at these phrases. How do I say, how are you? What's up? In, in an informal situation. What's up? I'm going to say, ¿qué tal? And for how are you, I'm going to say, ¿cómo estás? If you're meeting, let's say you're walking on the street and you see the principal of your school or university or even your boss. How will you say, how are you? You're going to say, ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo está usted? And some sample responses, some responses, most common responses can be bien, which is good. Regular, which means the usual, nothing new. Or mal, which means bad. Perfect. Now, let's look at another um, aspect of, some, of uh, small talk. Let's assume you are with your friends, okay? And one of your common friends introduces a new person into your group. Or you're talking with your colleagues and your boss uh, introduces you to a new person who's joined today in the office. In English, what we do is we say, hi, good morning, good afternoon. And we say, pleased to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, right? These are the phrases that we usually use, even online when we are talking with our, with our colleagues. This is the phrase that we use. How do we say that in Spanish? One way is, mucho gusto. Again, it just means pleased to meet you. Mucho gusto. The next one is encantado or encantada. It just means the same. Encantado, encantada. Why two? Okay. This is used by males and this is used by females. So if I meet someone, okay, I say, hi, how are you? And I want to say, nice to meet you. I'm going to say, encantada. And if it's a guy, he's going to say, encantado. All right, let's look at the pronunciation once. Please to meet you. Mucho gusto. And encantado for guys and Encantada for goods. All right? Very good. Now, when we do small talk, especially with our friends, there's also one more thing that we do. We ask, how are you feeling today? Let's assume yesterday you were talking to your friend and you realized that person was not in a very good mood. Probably was not in the best of health. Something went wrong. Our first question the next day is going to be, how are you feeling? Right? How do we say that in Spanish? We are going to say, ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Cómo te sientes? How are you feeling? ¿Cómo te sientes? Responses can be again, the ones that we already knew. Bien. Okay, you can add a little personal touch. You can say, estoy bien, which means I am good. Here, estoy is I am and bien is good. You can say, estoy mal. We know already what mal is. Or you can even say, fantastico. Which is, as the word says, fantastic. Fantastico or fantastica. Again, used by males, fantastica used by females. All right. Okay. Now, why are we learning this? The reason I put this here is, again, we are not being formal here. We are not just doing it for the sake of formality. 
we are trying to add a personal touch we are trying to show that we are being genuine we are being courteous we are being genuine we are really interested in understanding how the other person is feeling and that's the reason knowing this phrase is going to go a long way in establishing that connection all right now let's look at some fables the most common fables that you can probably use in any given situation of an informal one or a formal one the one that we already know i'm pretty sure you have seen this in let's say movies or series it is adios which is just a simple goodbye okay that's what it means a standard farewell that you can use in any situation adios which means goodbye the other one that you can probably use is which is used quite a lot is see you later right we see that say this a lot how do we say that in spanish hasta luego which is see you later hasta luego these are two different words the other one is let's say you know that you're going to meet the person in the coming days probably you're going to keep seeing each other you can say nos vemos nos vemos pretty much means the same it just implies that you're going to see that person again okay probably if you want a translation for it it just means we'll see each other we'll keep on seeing each other yeah let's look at the pronunciation once for emotional phrases these ones como te sientes and the answer can be estoy bien estoy mal fantástico okay and for fables the first one is adios hasta luego and nos vemos now again here is when we have some set of phrases which we more or less use you know in an informal situation and some which we use in formal situation uh for example in formal goodbyes what you can say is que te vaya bien which can mean i hope everything goes well right or it can also mean good luck que te vaya bien and you can also say ciao both the spellings are correct it also means bye goodbye again informal okay you can use it in place of adios in informal situations you can just say ciao and the other one is keep the vaya bien good luck i hope everything goes well and in polite goodbyes we also say uh, have a good day we say that how do we say that in spanish it is que tenga un buen día que tenga un buen día which just means have a good day que tenga un buen día let's look at the pronunciations once for informal goodbyes que te vaya bien chao and que tenga un buen día all right now let's look at some of the essential words that we need to know there are two more or less that we definitely need to know and pretty sure you already have heard of them one is gracias and the other one is por favor gracias is thank you and por favor is please we are going to use these words to just express that we are being courteous right it goes along with using these words in any language or in english thank you gracias please por favor now let's look at the last part some few more expressions that we can use in informal or informal situations right some of them being let's look at this one let's assume that you want to say take care we do say that in english right how do i say that in spanish it is cuidate cuidate We already know about que te vaya bien. Now we know que date. We know nos vemos. We know hasta luego. There is one more that you can use, or rather there are two more. Let's look at both of them. We already know this word now. Hasta. We can say hasta pronto. 
which means prompt is a word that you might have heard. See you soon. You know, you're going to probably see this person during the evening. Right? So, hasta pronto. And the next one is hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Be careful with this N. There is a small accent on it, which sounds like when you put N and Y together. Nyo. Hasta mañana. This means see you tomorrow. All right, let's quickly look at the pronunciations. But take care and say, cuidate. See you soon is hasta pronto. And see you tomorrow is hasta mañana. All right, now we have come to the last part of our session today. You can see a small comic strip. What we are going to do is, this is our revision. We are trying to revise some of the vocabulary that we have learned today. Okay, what's the background? What's the scenario? Let's assume these are two students. They are standing in front of their school, or college, university. And they're just greeting each other. Okay, no deep talk. This is a small talk. So, let's start with the first thing. What is the first thing that you're going to say? You're going to say, hi. How do we say hi? We're going to say hola. Very good. After that, we are going to say, let's say this is afternoon. How do we say good afternoon? We are going to say buenas tardes. Okay, that's it. Hola, buenas tardes. Hello, good afternoon. The girl is pretty much going to say the same thing. She's going to say hola, buenas tardes. Okay. And she is going to ask, how are you? How do we say that? Very good. We are going to say, como estas? Excuse me for the space here. You can go back and check the spelling. She's going to say, buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Como estas? How are you? This boy is going to say, I'm good. I'm well. I'm fine. Say, bien. He is also going to ask, we are being courteous here, we are going to ask, Como estas? How are you? She is going to say, I'm okay. Nothing. The word for it is regular. And she is also going to say, thank you. Because he's asking her options. So she is going to say, gracias. Very good. And then the final part. Okay, let's see. The boy is going to say, See you later. He's going to say bye. See you later. How do we say it? We say adios. Hasta luego. And the girl is going to say goodbye. We'll keep on seeing each other. We'll see each other. She's going to say ciao. Nos vemos. Okay, let's quickly look at what we did here in this revision. Okay, we started with the boy. The boy said hi. He said hi. Then he said good afternoon. Hmm? Referring to the time of the day, he said hola, buenas tardes. The girl said buenas tardes. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? The boy said good. How are you? ¿Cómo estás? She said I'm okay. Regular. Thank you. Gracias. And the boy said goodbye. See you later. Adios. Hasta luego. And the girl said, ciao, we have learned this, right? This is an informal way of saying goodbye. Most famous, which is, we'll see, keep on seeing each other. All right. I hope that you have 